Hi, my name is Erica Carroll, and I am the Product Marketing Manager at Mersive Technologies. Mersive is a manufacturer within the pro audio video uh, industry, pro audio video space, and we create a collaboration solution for conference spaces and meeting spaces for people to seamlessly and effortlessly share content um, so they're not spending time fumbling over cables or wasting time getting a meeting started. For the longest time, there's always been uh, women's councils around in the pro-AV industry, and we've all been really great about talking about empowering each other and having networking events where we focus more so on professional and personal development, working on 30-second pitches, maybe offering headshots and um, different stuff like that. But at some point, it got to this level where we couldn't figure out how to get more women into the industry. We could be as welcoming as we wanted, but it's still really difficult to get women into AV or even in this convergence with IT. So my co-leader at the time, we used to uh, co-lead a, a local women's group in Atlanta, uh, Jen Goodyear and I got together and we said, what can we actually do that makes a difference? And we had heard of Rosie Riveters at the time. And so we reached out to Brittany, who was absolutely amazing. And it just instantly made sense that we could literally create a pipeline for getting not just girls introduced to AV as a career in STEM, but also just to spread the word about AV as an industry to the next generation, maybe in the next 10 or 15 years. We won't be able to fix that problem in the next five, but you know we're creating a pipeline for the future. Diversity matters in all industries, not just in pro-AV, but we definitely need it in pro-AV because at some point in uh, childhood, you know, girls are at some point diverted from technology or AV or, you know, maybe it's pigeonholed into like gaming or coding. And there's so many different avenues that girls need to have a voice in. When you think about planning for the future and the things and the experiences that we have around us, if you had a device that was only created by a particular gender, it's not going to be as, um, I don't even want to say diverse, as full, full-featured of everything that you need, right? Right inherently men are not going to think to create a device that makes grocery lists, right? There's, <laughs> if you, where, where did Alexa start and then ended up having like a to-do list and a grocery list and shopping list and all the things, right? That coding, that planning, everything had to, that input came from people with diverse backgrounds who have specific needs and struggles in their own lives. And that experience needs to be put into the technology in the future that we're going into. My biggest aha moment in working with Rosie Riveters and realizing that we're making a difference was last year after we did the whole fundraising round, which was great and took a lot of convincing. A lot of people jumped on after the ball started rolling um, and the in AV industry showed up in a huge and phenomenal way. But the second phase to that was packing kits for kids um, in those local schools um, where the kits were being packed. And one of our teams in Dallas, we did the pack, we did a fundraising party, we did a packing party, and then they went and actually delivered the kits and they were able to do a career day and they did an assembly. And it's the re-engagement that for me has been the, the most eye-opening. The more that we can show up in their lives and not just like drop off a little mention and walk away, is the best. So every time we just get to re-engage is, is the most rewarding for me. I think the, the biggest thing people can do or organizations can do to give back or to reach out and create that pipeline is just to think beyond yourself and think beyond the walls of your own organization and what you can do. If you can reach out to the community and what impact you can make in those communities. So specifically for Rosie Riveters, what we love is that it's impacting elementary aged girls. There's plenty of programming in middle school and high school. And at that point, they've already sort of started to have ideas about STEM and technology. But the sooner that we can get involved as an entire community, 
um, the better. And all of that comes with just brainstorming outside of the box in the beginning and being selfless. It can't be about how can this impact my organization directly. This year for our kits, we are building a harmonica project, which is provided by Rosie Riveters. And we wanted to expand on that and how to use tools that we use every day in Pro AV. So for that, in that case, it would be a sound meter. So we have a virtual sound meter built into a website and these classrooms can um, go to sound.mersive.app and type in their teacher, their school, their grade, and then collectively make noise and it measures, you see the sound levels bouncing and it, it measures in decibels and then there's a leaderboard of the top 10. So the goal is to be on the top 10, um, just to help complement the app and to show how AV, you know, makes sense within that world as well. So I think that kids are inherently uh, technology savvy <laughs> and making AV and the projects that we're creating and tying it back to the things that they already use, making it make sense for them helps to expand their horizon of what STEM actually means. So for us, that is sound and video and lighting and experiences and AR and VR and all of those things that they think are so super cool, which is actually AV. And yeah, there's a lot of programming and graphics and all kinds of other stuff that goes to it, but the, the core of it is AV. So. I mean, it's been a lot of fun trying to really find that tie of like, we want to do this project. This is really how it would tie back, um, or at least one component of how it would be, how it would tie back. And it's been more fun talking to like the engineers in my industry who, who talk at this level. And I'm like, yeah, let's like, let's bring it back down. <laughs> so as it pertains to Rosie and, um, our relationship with Rosie. I love the Rosie Explorers Pro AV initiative and finding those ties uh, moving into the future year after year. Eventually, I would like to see AV in a Girl Scout badge. I think that would be amazing. Um, we have a, a gal in AV that we already work with who just did an automated dollhouse. So like automated lights and shades and stuff. So way future, right? <laughs> what AV means <laughs> to, to the bigger audience. Um, to really, you know, introduce what AV could be to, to those girls. Um, as far as, you know, everything else for the future, I don't know. I, right now, I'm excited about where we're headed. And I and about all the people that reach out and want to contribute and above anything else, I just want to see it grow. I want to see Pro AV or Rosie Explorers Pro AV um, grow bigger than just me. I think for me, the biggest thing, um, if I had any parting thoughts, would be to stay curious and just always be willing to learn more and keep reaching further. And for me, a lot of times that looks like a question of that starts with how might we, right? If you can't, if you just say like, we need to build a thing. Okay. How might we build the best thing? Like if there were no boundaries, if time and money were not an issue, and then you can scale back from there, but just stay, staying curious, I think is biggest.